Hey guys, Satan, welcome back to my kitchen and YouTube channel. So today is a little bit different. Today I'm doing a vlog format video for you guys and I'm trying to make butter by hand from scratch, literally just using a whisk and a bowl. Today I'm actually filming this video with my friend Natan who is helping me. Uh, Natan, do you wanna say hi? Natan's getting my B-roll shots. Uh, here's Natan. Natan's helping me. Um, okay, so let's just attempt this and I'll probably need Natan's help to actually do this because it is really tiring. Oh my God, obviously there's a fire truck or police going by while I'm filming. Okay, now let's actually start. So right over here I have heavy cream. This and salt are the only two ingredients that you need. So I'm just gonna pour my heavy cream into the bowl. Okay, I have about two cups of heavy cream. I'm going to add a little bit of, actually I'm not gonna add salt yet. All you then gotta do is just whisk it up. You can do this in a, like a stand mixer using an electric beater, but I wanted to try it by hand, so I'm gonna go get to work. Okay. Okay, I'm already tired from doing that for one minute. This is literally like a workout. You actually work out, Nathan, right? Okay, so again, Nathan, you're stepping in once I get tired. I am literally making a mess. I don't know if you guys can see, there is heavy cream everywhere. Oh my God. Okay, a little trick just to show you what I'm doing to actually uh, whip this. Oh my God, I totally forgot to tell you what we're doing. Basically, to make butter from uh, to make butter from heavy cream, you literally just have to whip it until it becomes whipped cream and then keep whipping it and then the butter fat separates from the buttermilk. I know it looks like I'm clueless about this, but I've done it many times, just never by hand. Um, so that's the science behind it. Okay, right now it is around the consistency of like some soft uh, whipped cream. So we're just gonna keep mixing it and I'm gonna be tired soon. So Natan, we are gonna be switching spots in a minute. It's been three minutes and I'm already exhausted. Clearly, um, this is a workout for me. So we're gonna switch right now. I'm gonna take off my mic and Nathan will step in here to uh, do this because you're way stronger than me. Okay, let's switch. <laughs> it's so exhausting. Even with those muscles you had, it is exhausting. <laughs> okay, let's just stop for a second. Okay, let me show you guys what it looks like right now. Isn't this the most exhausting thing ever? It's so tired. It's repetitive motion. Okay, look at this. So, if you hold this up just so I can like, tilt it so I can show them. Okay, so as you see, it's now like a regular whipped cream. So we're gonna keep mixing it until it starts separating and the, you'll see, okay. I'm gonna now continue mixing. Let me just scrape some of this off the side. So kind of right now it's looking like uh, cream cheese, as Natan said, or um, like over whipped whipped cream, which is exactly what we want. Okay, I'm just stalling because I don't want to do this, but let's let's just keep going. Okay, so we are kind of short for time. We've literally been beating this for about 20 minutes by hand and we got a wrap of this video. So I'm kind of cheating a little bit. Uh, most of this was done by hand, but we're not gonna use a electric beater that look how fast we'll do it. Much, much faster than by hand. All right, it's very close. Like I can see like there's clumps of stuff. Well, 
12. At this point, the video kind of just went downhill. My mic, I kind of forgot to plug it in, so there's no audio. And then we just had to bust out the KitchenAid mixer because the doing it by hand was a complete fail. So I just poured some heavy cream in there, popped it onto the KitchenAid mixer with a whisk attachment, and then I just let it start mixing away because it was just, it basically was a complete fail. That's kind of the end of the story. That's what I'm saying here, even though you can't hear me because I forgot to plug in the audio. This was quite a fail, but wait, it gets better. Give it a few seconds. Uh, just wait, wait, wait. Okay, the audio is about to come back in. Okay, so while you guys were gone, Natan had to go home. He's now on FaceTime over here. Natan, say hi to everyone. Uh, Natan had to go home because it is literally close to 11 o'clock now. I've been letting this run for about half an hour and Natan, look at this. It is finally done. Look at that. Crazy. It's actually separated. Okay, Natan, I'll show you a picture later. I'm gonna go finish this. All right, bye. bye. Okay, wait, let me, I'm gonna film on my phone so you guys can see this. Look at this. It separated into butter. Like seriously, you guys saw how long it was whipped cream. It is now butter. I'll mix it around and you can see this. So over here you have the butter and over there is the buttermilk. Okay, so this is actually crazy. I literally cannot believe this actually worked. I mean, I can't believe it because I've done it before, but I can't believe how long this took. So really what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to like strain it through some cheesecloth. I don't have any cheesecloth right now. So I'm just going to clump together this butter, put it into this little jar, and then once I get some cheesecloth or maybe like a thin linen towel, I am then going to press it out to get rid of the rest of the buttermilk. But I mean, look at this. This is literally butter right over here. Like this isn't, this is butter. Okay, let me film on here so you guys can see. Look at that, butter right over here. This is actually awesome. Let me just get rid of it all. Look at this, see we have the buttermilk on the bottom and then the butter separated right over here. Okay, and there we go. I now have a whole little jar of butter that I just made from scratch, not exactly by hand because I had to go with this because that would have just taken forever, but made from scratch. We have some butter here. I'm going to just finish uh, squeezing out all the buttermilk because you don't want that. It'll give it a, a bitter flavor and will make it spoil quickly. I'm gonna make sure to rinse out all of the buttermilk and then it's good to go. So if you guys wanna make your own homemade butter at home, uh, all you gotta do is whip up some whipped cream. I highly suggest doing that in a stand mixer and just letting it go for like half an hour because doing it by hand, while it is fun at first, literally will take forever. Okay, this was kind of a disaster slash worked, I guess, because we do have homemade butter. If you guys wanna do it, comment down below uh, if you've ever made butter before, if you make it after this and how it came out. If you haven't already, be sure to click that like button because I mean, I put in the work, this was really hard. And especially thanks to my friend Natan for helping me film this on a busy night. Thank you so much for coming out. Um, all right, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. And if you haven't already, be sure to click that red subscribe down below. It's big, it's free, and you want to be the first to know when I post new videos. Okay, I'm gonna go finish squeezing out all the buttermilk and enjoying this butter.